Back so soon? What's the rush? Okay, okay, sit down, shut up, and pay attention. The misfit vault hunters had discovered the secret location of the Gortis project, but getting there wouldn't be easy. Hyperion had not forgotten about the renegade employees, and the native Pandoran wildlife was, uh, just getting to know them. They escaped with their lives, but not much else. Out in the wasteland, the former middle manager discovered Handsome Jack riding shotgun in his brain while having a shotgun pointed at his head. Fancy meeting you a too. precarious position, to be sure, but nothing compared to the con artist. The price on her head had attracted all kinds of thugs and gunmen. You'd think that would have been the end of her story, but hey, you never know when a polite reprogrammed killing machine will drop in and save the day. Back on the trail of the Gortis project, they found a wondrous hidden city, risen from the corpse of a ghost town. But, unfortunately, their moment of awe and victory was to be the advantage of their opponents. <laughs> Taken hostage and forced to surrender the keys to the kingdom, they had to go all in on one last gamble. This chapter of the story begins with the questionable choice to trust Handsome Jack. Nutcase over Fiona? Yes, he did. Uh, kinda overestimating Fiona's sanity with that statement. Being around you would make anyone nuts after a while. I'm starting to get that. I'm, I'm sorry, are you guys teaming up now? Cause I kinda feel like you are. <laughs> Why did you choose Jack? When all of Pandoran recorded history would tell you it's a risky choice. He had a plan, plain and simple. Hey, I had a plan. It wasn't the greatest plan, sure, but it was better than trusting Handsome Jack. Being able to control the facility seemed like the way to go. You chose Jack, cause you're an idiot. There's no other explanation for it. I don't suppose there's a spare for the spare. Well, if there is, I'm not changing it this time. We're close. We can walk it from here. Where the hell is here? Yeah. And why is it where we are? I'll tell you when I find what we're looking for. So, what happened next? <laughs> well, things started out fine. <laughs> Hail to the king, baby! <laughs> hey, kid, what are you doing? You mean... I'm controlling the drones? Yeah, well, <laughs> with my help, but yeah. Let's get killing, Cupcake. Reese? Come on, Corn. Just Let's... standing here and holding this. We have to get up there. Get us up there. Yeah. Sasha! Get us up there, Reese. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Come on, come on, let's go! Sasha, Vaughn! You made the right choice, kid. I'm really proud of you. Don't let it go to your head. Hurry up, Reese! Yes! Oh, 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 yeah! Watch all it, Reese! Them. Get all of them! Woo! <laughs> this is insane. She's right. <laughs> she's, she's a woman and she's right. <laughs> Get Oh, 
Fingers! Loaderbot, get to it, buddy! All right! My turn. Hey, hey! Get ready to lick my boots, you raging douchebag! <laughs> Enough of this! No, 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 no! More bullets! Stop! 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 Don't worry, I left you on, pal. He's, uh, he's a little on the dumpy side, but I, it, it seems like it would be a good fit for you. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Go get him, Dumpy. Guy, I'm taking you with me for some reason. This is so cool, right? D did you guys see me? I mean, how cool I was. <laughs> what now? Calm down, Sash. Can I have your gun? No, you do not need a gun. We blow up the front door. Loaderbot can help. Ah, uh, duh. Hey, can you help us out? Yes, and you shall receive. Buddy, are you, uh, <laughs> hands are, for the record, not my idea. Come on! Friends of yours? Enhance? What? Thanks. Don't mention it. <sighs> you the leader of this outfit? Hey, you all right there, buddy? I've had it worse. Oh. Right, because the... the app. Nope. I just landed closer to you. There she is. You remember me? Great. These jackasses. Oh, she remembers, all right. Oh, come on, Finch. Who could forget a messed up face like that? My face is messed up because you messed up my face. <laughs> yeah, man, she knows. She's messing with you, dude. All right, that's enough! 
Calm down, Finch. She's the one who melted my face. Oh, yes, she did. Please, just just let me shoot Hat Get Girl in the in face. Get back in the truck. Just You're time. being a nuisance. Me too. But, man, I didn't even... Man, why... You Those guys you got there truck? are pretty useless. With your reputation, I'd figure you'd keep better company. They have their strong suits. Fashion is not one of them. Fee? Mmm. I see why you're Felix's favorite. Don't be surprised. I've known about you two for as long as you've been lifting watches. But I'm out ten million bucks because someone turned a simple deal into a complete shit show. Someone has to pay for that. <sighs> Looks like we have a couple new contestants. This isn't good. Okay, okay, I know how it looks. Things got a little messed up, but- Shut up! I I'll deal with you later. I just want to say I had nothing to do with this. Uh-huh. Who's to blame here, Fiona? I want a name. Calm down, Hugo. No, no. I just- look. Vasquez. He's the one to blame here. Did she say me? Really? And none of this would have happened if he hadn't screwed up the deal. Oh, she's lying. She is lying, Valerie. Please, you have got to believe me. It's not my fault. Look, I know you're super pissed, but we've got the Gordy's thing, and it is going to get us a vault that is worth way more than 10 million bucks, just like we told you. Everything is fine. We're fine. So this is what all the fuss is about. Yeah. Yeah. That's our little moneymaker. Huh? Then I guess I don't need you anymore. What? No! 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 I suppose I don't need any of you. That's not how it went. She put that gun in your face and you would all... Keep talking. The truth this time. Fine. But... Where was I? <laughs> you were in the middle of this. I was getting Gordas back. Here, we gotta go. This isn't over. You're the one leaving. Looks over to me. No, it'll feel much different than this. I let you know when it happens. <laughs> Just completely stupid? Is this some sort of trick question? Cause I don't see... I am here to help you! You idiots! Oh. This is easily the most annoying contract I've ever taken. Oh, 
At least if it was an assassination, I'd have the pleasure of a kill at the end of it. Oh, well, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Who even hired you? A man named Felix. I normally don't divulge that kind of information, but he wanted you to know. So what do you know about Gordas? What are you even saying? I don't know what that word means. Gore tis. Are you sure you're pronouncing it correctly? No. Oh, wait. Years ago when I was retiring those Atlas employees, it was a project many of them were working on. But I never looked into it. Well, that's not helpful. So you're what, our bodyguard or something? Thankfully, no. More, God, I don't know, a mentor? Felix wanted me to pass along some knowledge, to help you survive. He felt you two had some untapped potential. Oh, well, Fiona, he was just thinking about our untapped potential. So, Athena, was that before or after he decided to rip us off and abandon us in the desert with a price out on our head? Thanks for stepping in with Valerie. Sure, don't mention it. Ugh, look, I know you two have been through a lot, but I assure you I'm here to help. And I don't anticipate that'll be very long, because when I feel the contract is filled, I'll be out of your lives. So let's just get through this. Well, welcome aboard, I guess. Thank you. So, uh, is he alright? Cause that's not normal. That's Vaughn for ya. Yeah, I, I don't think he's seen a dead body up close before. Lucky him. Oh yeah, he's... he's just going through some stuff. Hey! Huh. Don't do that. <sighs> oh yeah, I think I got something. What you got? I don't know, but I, I found out there's an on button somewhere. You've been looking at that thing for like 20 minutes. Well, it's apparently very small. Initiating Gorta's startup sequence. Energy chassis required for Vault of the Traveler protocol. Loading coordinates for energy chassis. Gortus. Activated. Happy birthday. Hi! Wow! Hey! Really great to meet you all. I think I was expecting something... different? You are the freaking cutest robot I've ever seen. Thank you! You're not so bad yourself. Meow. Awesome! Awesome! Awesome. Awesome. Oh, it was a robot this whole time! Yes, I am! That makes sense. Does that make sense? Yes, it does! Oh, cool! You got another robot! It's very nice to meet you. How is your day going? It's a mixed bag. That's great! Variety is so important. Gordis, hi. Hi! Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, where to start? Now, I don't know every detail, but I was created by Atlas as a last-ditch effort to get to the riches of a vault, to get a leg up on those Hyperion guys. Well, we are still number one. Atlas had facilities all over Pandora, working on the pieces of me to get it done faster. But then, that lady, made it a little more difficult to assemble by killing every Atlas employee. Well, uh, how many more pieces are there? No idea, but the next piece we need is... Uh... Oh, that away! Okay, let's do this. Great! Oh, that's a great idea. Uh, Gordis? Hmm? He is, um... Oh, shh. He's... 
he's resting. Probably for a while. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. We'll just let him sleep then. That's probably for the best. Hey, is there a radio in this thing? Hey there, buddy. Just checking in. Don't want to distract you from the victory laps. You'll probably take another Vasquez is dead, but, uh, just checking that you haven't told Athena uh, about me at all. Have you? I didn't intend to. Okay, great, good. So just keep that frame of mind, because if you do tell her, she'll just cut your head off before you can even explain yourself. Not exaggerating. She really, really doesn't like me. Okay, look, kiddo. Stop calling me kiddo, please. Who are you talking to? Uh, I... <laughs> oh, you know, just, just myself. Just psyching myself up to find this fault, you know what I mean? All right. <clears throat> I suddenly need to go to the roof. Okay, Jack. You and I need to set some things straight. Oh, man. Can I just say, blasting those bandit douchebags in the tiny little pieces? <laughs> the best part of my day. I'm so happy. Thanks for giving me control of those drones, kiddo. So much fun. It was kind of fun. <laughs> I mean, that one guy you shot made some funny noises. He was like, eh, ah, yeah, 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 I remember that guy. He was like, ah! <laughs> you can tell he was like thinking of his family or something. <laughs> so beautiful. But, but yeah, yeah. 
Sorry about shooting at your buddies and stuff. Eh, truth be told, kind of hard to tell friends from baddies out here. <laughs> you know, now, you all kind of look like bandits. It won't happen again. You're right, it won't. But, I... yeah, but let's put that behind us, huh? It's time to look to the future. We're just two unstoppable, intelligent guys with great hair. Huh? You and I are going places, baby. High five! Why is that guy talking to himself? He's going through. <laughs> I do have great hair. Well, that was unsatisfying. Yeah, did not think of that. What the hell is that? And I know I've done some kind of <laughs> things, but we're a team here, kiddo. And you can even ask Athena. I always look out for my team, so I'm just asking you to trust me. We've got so much in common. We're both ambitious. We're both super hot. I blackmailed and murdered my way up the Hyperion ladder. You came up with that sick vault key deal. Huh? Yeah, I trust you. Sure, let's just go with that. Honor! Ah, oh, sorry. Got excited. I'll never say that again. But but that, that's what I like to hear, buddy. You know, you've been good to me, kid. Uh, it gave me control of your well coiffed bread box, trusted me when I opened up. I want to repay the favor. How can I help you? What do you want out of life? I could take you to the top. I just gotta know where the hell the top is. I just went out of the rat race. And I want to die as some random, no name employee. A lot of people on Helios wish they could say the same. Henderson? The guy Vasquez tossed out of an airlock? <laughs> you know he was like a massive racist, right? What? No. Yeah, he also owned a kitten fighting ring. Is that what I think it is? Only if you're imagining a grown man stepping into a ring with a kitten and pummeling it for 12 minutes. Oh, well, just... So, screw that guy. Yeah, no, definitely screw that guy. I mean, in all fairness, it was very entertaining. But, yeah, total asshole. Well, this has been a good little talk. You're going places, kid. Can't wait to help you get there. And, uh, sorry again about almost killing your friend. You two got pretty chummy. Are all your BFFs murderous monsters? Guys, can we just call it for the night? We're not gonna find anything in this light. Yeah. All right. Your mask. What about it? It hides your identity. That is the definition of a mask, yes. What of it? I can't think of any reason you'd need both of us. I don't. But for whatever reason, it seems that Gordas does. That's where my interest lies. I guess what I meant was... I'm interested that you're interested. I see what you're trying to do, and I won't fall for it. No, none of the lines I put you on make any sense without you either knowing us, or needing us. It's compelling theory. How confident are you in this hunch? What I mean is, do you care to make a wager? I don't make bets when I don't know the outcome. Just thinking out loud. You should do a little less of that. Tell me about the dome. I'm done talking for a while. He can fill you in. Hey! What? Who wants to know about the dome? Well, the creepy part or the pretty part? All of it.
Damn it, it's cold! Man, it's crazy Reese got that thing working. Crazy weird is what it is. Yeah, but look at it. It's no threat to us. He does look happy. Hey, buddy, how's it going? <laughs> okay, looks like the voice modulator could use a little work. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Desert, ice, and now this. I've never seen anything like it before. And this is where the upgrade thingy is? You're so close! This is definitely a little weird. What the hell is this place? Do you recognize any of these plants? No, actually. Okay, all right, here we go. I'm gonna do it. So, do it. I'm not afraid, that's what you're wondering. Okay, go on then. I'm going, I am gonna touch it. No one's stopping you. Well, good, because you would not be able to stop me at this point. Don't, don't try to hold me back, I mean it. I'm not? Great, because you, 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 you wouldn't be able to. I'm strong, and I'm going to touch this. Because I'm very spontaneous that way. I'll just touch things. I won't even think about it. I'll just touch them. I can't wait to see it. Here we go. With the touching part. I am so going to touch this right now. I am going to put my fingers all on this. Ah. Oh. Oh, oh, it's just, oh, it's wrong. But it's, oh, man. Oh, that way. How do we get in? I thought you destroyed everything, Atlas. Huh. Guess I missed this one. What would you have done if you'd found it? Reduce it to rubble, grind the rubble to dust, kill everyone inside. The standard. Huh. I'm puzzled by the plants, though. Never seen any Atlas facility like this. Yeah? Thinking maybe you won't pull your usual reduce it to rubble, etc., etc. Eh. Avon, hey this Atlas plays pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh, you, 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 you okay? Can we just find a way into the dome?
What were you staring at me for? You weren't, like, scanning me or something, were you? As you looked like you were having fun. It was nice. <laughs> Don't get creepy on me now. What the hell is this place? Your guess is as good as mine. I don't like it. Reeks of Atlas smugness and self-satisfaction. LB, the joints holding up okay in this cold? No problem. Just want to make sure both of you are good. Been a crazy day, am I right? Huh? You are very right. Wait, you're not being sarcastic, are you? Why would I? Wow, I am so not used to this. It's kind of refreshing. How are my two favorite robots? You guys having a good time together? Huh? Exchanging oil recipes or whatever you talk about? Yes! I'm learning so much! About how you dropped a fake vault key, how you lost ten million dollars, and how- Gee! Thanks! I cannot hold back your tide of bad decisions. Hey, robots. Uh, what you doing? Have you found my upgrade yet? No. Oh, I see. Hey, I'll keep looking. We'll, we'll find it. Hey, you guys let me know if you find anything, alright? I'm gonna keep poking around. Hello? How do we get you open? Circuitry. That's awful. Maybe someone should tell him. Yo, loader bot. Could you use a hand here, old amigo? My human needs me. Hey. Hey. Hey, you, you okay? Not really. Do you remember back in junior year when we tried to get into that Kegatron 9000 party blowout smash? Do you remember that? I think a bunch of the guys that interned at Torg threw it? It was in the Turbo Dorms. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, buddy. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's fine if you don't remember. So we're in line, no invites, and you just say, play cool. Wait a minute, I remember this now. The the bouncers that were gonna let me buy and you got stuck out on the curb. Yeah, that's right. That was me. Said they'd filled their nerd quotient. Hey, I didn't go in either. I'm not gonna leave my wingman behind. I'm still really mad though. I mean, 
you were just as much of a nerd as I was, which was hilarious. But you look like you do, so you could fake it. We were both wearing hackathon shirts. Yours was just all fitted and cool, and mine was, you know. Man, I can't believe I forgot about that. I, I'm really sorry. Eh, I'm over it now. I will say that that was the day that I realized what our friendship was destined to be forever. It's Reese, the cool guy! And there's Vaughn, his nerdy little best friend. Down here in Pandora, I've seen how amazing you are at all this stuff. I mean, hanging out with vault hunters, crazy Atlas technology, fighting insane mobsters, and, and you've just been playing it totally cool the whole time. So I, I guess, look, I'm not gonna get left out on the curb again, am I? Dude, you're not that person anymore, okay? If College Vaughn could see you now with all buff, and he'd be stunned. Poor little guy. Thinking all that cologne could hide his extra chin fat. <laughs> hey, I'm serious. You're gonna be fine. Let's find this Gordis whatever and get rich, okay? Hell yeah. Let's do this! Nice work. We made it. Entrance this way. Let's see what else this place has to offer. Is Creepometer going bananas right now? Um, maybe Dumpy could scout ahead? I guess that means we're safe then. Thanks, Mon. So, my upgrade's nearby. Sorry if it's kind of spooky in here. You know, just once, I'd like to search an abandoned health spa or something. Fluffy towels. Gordis, can you scan the room for, you know, danger? Uh, could you please describe to me how you think that would work? Well, your sensors kind of like sweep the room's vectors. I mean, that was a totally valiant effort. But no, it doesn't work like that at all. Well, we know your upgrade is nearby. Let's, let's look around in here. Any luck? No, but Reese found out where we are. Or at least what this place was. Some kind of top secret Atlas biodome. Not much else in the system. Any sign of the Gordas upgrade? Not yet. We'll keep looking.
I think the technical term for this is highly goddamn suspicious. What's that? Map. What, what, what kind of map? Unclear. The markings on it seem deliberately obscure. Oh, how fun! Like a treasure hunt map! Uh, yeah, gorgeous, something like that. But it doesn't appear to lead to anything, so I doubt it has anything to do with your upgrades. What do you got? Clothes. Looks like someone was wearing this recently. Find anything? Well, kinda. I mean, this place is Atlas, but it was some kind of terraforming facility. They were growing plants. I thought all you corporations were just about mass market destruction. I am not a corporation. And see, you learned something today. What about Gordas's upgrade? Is it here? Well, nothing in the files yet, but a lot of it's been deleted, so that probably says something. Fresh fruit. And here? Find something? Yeah, Drake fruit stash. Like actual Drake fruit? Can I have some of it? Someone took a bite out of the only fresh piece. So sure, if you want cooties. This is weird. I think someone's been living here. Don't worry so much. Maybe he'll be nice. Or she could always be I don't be think the she. upgrade's in one of those melons. Uh, I'm Oops. eating these because of hunger. Yeah. I know. Oh, right. Jokes. Zing! Find anything? Not yet. This place is... disconcerting. How so? It's Atlas, and nothing has tried to kill us yet. Nothing here. Yeah. Oh, bastard! Atlas Extreme Latte 5000. Is it still working? Huh? Why? Atlas might be full of corrupt, murderous bastards, but they made the best lattes. Nope. Ugh. Damn Atlas. Anyone need some new gear? Any weapons? Nah, no weapons. But there is stuff in here you guys might be interested in. Kill me. Please, please don't kill me. I, I, I have just been watching you. Just, just watching, that's all. I swear, I am completely harmless. There is absolutely no need for you to kill me. I, I assure you. <laughs> you do realize that the more you tell us not to kill you, the more it seems like it's kind of the right idea. Everything's okay. If you're not here to hurt us, we're not here to hurt you. Thank you for that. It is genuinely rare to encounter reasonable, somewhat intelligent-seeming people. Hey there! That little robot's why we're here. There's an upgrade somewhere nearby. We're looking for it. Well, I, I, I can't help you with that. I know nothing about it. So, you should leave. We all should leave, all of us, going our separate ways. I can leave right now, in fact, and if anyone asks, not that anyone would, of course, but I, I'll tell them, I'll say, I didn't see you. Hey, stranger, relax. Think of a calm place. 
Your trusting place. Let's go back there, together. Yes. Yes. Terrific. So, how about you tell us what's actually going on? I... I just... I... I... um... <sighs> Very well, young lady. You win. I'm on the run, you see. I have lost everything. My wife. My son. My cat. I did not lose them in that order, though. I, I lost my wife first, then my cat, then my son. So, wife, cat, son. You ever thought of becoming a professional storyteller? Because I gotta tell you, your sense for crucial information is just... Reese. Forgive me. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed human contact. Uh, perhaps I've forgotten how to talk to people. You must understand, I've suffered months of wandering, isolation, skulking from one location to the next, broken, ashamed, homeless. I got here to this place only minutes ago, so... I'd ask that you leave me now to my demons and go. That's a sad story, but I still don't trust him. Me neither. I do! Is that dumb of me? I saw your map, which I assume you made while exploring this facility. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, no? So maybe you won't mind if I... No! Don't do that! To that uh, is map, is it? Uh, that I've never seen before? Just fond of paper. You know, you seem like an intelligent man. You've probably figured out by now that the easiest way to end all this and get rid of us is simply tell the truth. Proposal accepted, young lady. I'll tell you what you want to know. Follow me. I am not a simple traveler. I've lived here for months. So, dead wife, dead kid, that's all horse crap? Yes. Although Skaggs did eat my cat. Oh, Guy's the cat. He was a terrible cat. By which you mean he was a cat, am I right? <laughs> Jeez, tough room. The bunker within that jungle. I suspect it contains the upgrade you're looking for. I wish I could tell you more about what's inside, but I was never brave enough to check. The problem, your problem is the Atlas automated security system that surrounds said bunker. Isn't it always? If I were you, and in this instance I'm relieved I am not, I'd gain access to the security tower, which is... there. <laughs> I can get in and disable the security systems. Easy. Not easy. Not at all easy. But your best option nonetheless. Automated security system, huh? Huh. Just realize the acronym for that is ASS! Ha! Yeah, that's probably why no one calls it that. <laughs> hey, Reese, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna disable Atlas's ASS! <laughs> so good! What kind of defenses are we talking about here? Oh, the usual medley of turrets and laser grids. Self regulated, self controlling, all lethal, of course. Reese, that sounds like something you can handle, right? Please, in my sleep. So we're done talking, then? We can actually go secure this upgrade now? Fiona, while Mr. Robot Eye here hits the security tower and hacks the defenses, you and I will infiltrate the bunker and grab the upgrade. Let's get this gorgeous piece and get out of here, huh? Awesome! This is incredible! Confidence. That's good. I'll go with Reese to make sure he doesn't get into any trouble. It's a simple hack. You want to know how simple? I look at it, and it hacks. No need to put yourself in danger. Oh, if it wasn't for me and Fiona, you'd be skag food. Hmm. How many times now? You need me. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I'm just gonna be here, uh, hurting and doing stuff if anyone needs me. There's a lot of stuff I can do, right? Huh? I mean, 
I don't have a robot eye. I'm not a highly trained assassin. Also not particularly charming, but, but I can still do stuff. Hey, I got a job for you. Use the computers in here and find out whatever you can about Atlas, Gordas, or the vaults. You've come to the right man. All right. Everyone knows what they're doing? Yeah. Uh -huh. And with a plan like this, what could possibly go wrong? So, despite my incredible leadership efforts going unnoticed, Sasha and I went to go brave the catwalks and find the security station. 